Hello everyone. So we are coming up with the most awaited feature that is our indent document. So in this particular video, we will go ahead and show you that how you can use indent document feature in order to manage your inventory and your purchases. So first of all, let us go to our resource planning module. On your left hand side, you will see resource planning module. Click on that. Now, once you will come in resource planning, these are the list of all the resource planning lists through which you can go ahead and plan your procurement. So I will go with the order confirmation. I have already created a OC. So I will select that particular OC and generate the report. Once I will generate the report, please check. For this OC, I have already created a BOM as well. So the raw material is being displayed here. Now check here. So in stock is zero, required quantity is 60, block quantity is 36 for another production process. Now total ordered to be ordered is 96. Indent balance is zero. So basically if any indent was raised previously and the PO have not been raised, so it will come in the indent balance. Now from here on this page, I can go ahead and create indent directly. How? Select this particular uh, item, click on create indent. Once I clicked on create indent, please check. This is the indent document. Here you can go ahead and customize your indent document number format. Uh, you can select that in which store it will, the indent or the material will be coming. Expected by, uh, you can put on a date that by when it is expected, required for. You can go ahead and mention any other details for your reference. Now, going below, this is the item which was selected. You can uh, put required for and comment on item level as well and you can add another item as well attachment comment attach signature option is there now what i will do i will go ahead and just click on save and send and my indent document is prepared okay so here is the no quantity ordered as because currently the purchase order have not been raised now you can go ahead and directly raise a purchase order from the indent document itself on your right hand side you will see an option of generate po once you will click on generate po it will take you to the po page and from there you can go ahead and create a PO directly and accordingly the indent detail will be coming. Now let me go back to the indent page and we'll show you that what other features are there in the indent that you may be able to use it. You can very well go ahead and print this indent as well and short close this indent also. Now coming back in the my resource planning module. Now here is the indent tab which we have provided. In this indent tab, please check. Currently, I have simply just went ahead and created one of the indent. I can directly go ahead and select this particular indent and can create a PO. Now, I can uh, go ahead and see from the filters all indent as well and which is sent. Select this in the filter, please check. These are all the indent which are uh, created. So, you can go ahead and see that once the PO will be created in this list, the PO number will be coming. So, this is all around our indent feature i hope this particular functionality will help you in managing your production to purchase cycle have a good day